the editorial team would like to send greetings and thank you to the value listeners who have always shown interest in a companion channel. In today's news about the COVID-19 situation, both domestically and internationally, let's update you with the last and hottest news that have happened in the past 24 hours in the following video. Please stay tuned. The winds, earthquakes, dike breaks, and dam failures continue to occur in many provinces and cities in China, leaving the Xi Jinping government at a loss for action. Yesterday, the Chinese state said, Xi Jinping said that the situation of rainstorms and floods in China is extremely serious. China Morning Post, one of the very famous newspapers of the Chinese side, yesterday quoted the spokesman of the head of state of China. Mr. Xi Jinping said that declaring the flood situation in the provinces was extremely serious. When dams burst in mass and river water overflowed, the damage was immeasurable. Several reservoirs have ruptured, causing casualties and property damage. The flood situation is extremely severe, Chinese state media quoted Xi as saying yesterday. In recent days, heavy rains have caused flash floods and flooding in Henan province. Officials in Zhengzhou city and many capitals in many southern and eastern provinces said that at least 12 people were killed, lives and five people were injured due to the flood. China had to raise the flood alert level from level 3 to level 2 to deal with the whole crisis. The reason why China raised the warning level from level 3 to level 2 is because the danger level in China is opposite to that of Vietnam. While Vietnam is from level 1 to level 2, level 3, level 3. 4 is the red alert level, the highest alarm level in China, on the contrary, from level 4, level 3, level 2, then level 1, level 1 of the Chinese side is the highest red alert level. Ladies and gentlemen, the rising water level has also affected the transportation systems of dozens of other cities such as Sichuan, Hubei, Hunan, Yinan, Wuhan, Guangdong, Guangxi, Shenzhen, and Shanghai, Jam. The city of Zhengzhou had to completely stop subway operations from yesterday after a rain of 200 mm in just an hour. About 1 million people in Fujian and Jiangsu provinces had to evacuate urgently overnight. Yesterday, thousands of Chinese soldiers, police and militia were deployed to help people reach safe places for shelter. It is said that this is the cause and effect that China is facing and it seems that the Mother Nature and the Supreme God is still beating China to avenge the countries of the world. Yesterday, China's central broadcaster CCTV reported that the country's military had warned of rain and floods that caused the Jiangsu Dam in Luoyang City, Henan province to appear many cracks up to 200 meters long. The dam could collapse at any time. China's military and state hydrometeorological warning agency warned that China is facing summer with extremely dangerous rains and storms. However, urbanization, Rampant dam construction and conversion of rural and use are said to make China's flood situation extremely bad. Yesterday, a second dam in China's Yunnan province continued to burst and engulf the entire downstream area, forcing 80 million people to evacuate overnight, announced that it will continue to break some dikes to save some dams. Currently, China's largest dam, the Three Gorges Dam, has not been broken. But senior Chinese state officials warned that if heavy rains, high winds and storms occur, it is likely that the Three Gorges Super Dam will also burst. And when it breaks, it will engulf all of Beijing out into the South China Sea. There will be no more China on the world map. Then China will be wiped out and this is a very dark thing for the Xi Jinping government. But it is very happy news for many countries around the world. Gender Ladies and gentlemen, China's state weather service had to issue the highest warning level for provinces such as Henan, Hubei, Wuhan, Xinding, and Shanxi. Due to the heavy rains causing many disruptions to operations on a large scale, many people had to evacuate from severely flooded areas. Flooding often occurs during the rainy season in China, washing away roads, crops and houses. According to the website TikTok, one of the very popular Chinese websites posted pictures and videos showing that roads have now turned into rivers and streams. All the personal belongings of the people were floating into the river and into the sea. The damage is immeasurable in monetary terms. But some Chinese state officials still have soft blankets and warm mattresses. They still conduct operations to invade the sea by sending up to 300 ships of all kinds carrying lethal weapons, heavy weapons, water cannons and missiles out into the East Sea to conduct exercises on a large scale. Worst ever, the Navy and Customs Department of China said that Beijing's army will conduct a month-long exercise in the East Sea, causing a lot of frustration for countries in the region as well as communities around the world. Gender 
This is the reason why heavy rain and high winds continue to land in China to destroy Beijing. Ladies and gentlemen, the threat of flooding is worsening after decades, according to official sources, partly due to the rampant construction of dams and dikes that have blocked the flow of water between rivers, causing the water level rises. The dikes cannot withstand the pressure so it will break. According to a source close to Chinese intelligence, the Chinese site has built 14 large and small dams from scratch. Next year, causing many unpredictable dangers to the three rivers Yangtze, Mekong and Yangtze River, especially the Yangtze River, China continues to build a super dam larger than the Three Gorges Super Dam. Has not been announced by the Chinese state to the world. According to China's central television CCTV in a speech about the weather forecast, Beijing has warned of unusually heaviest rain for 31 days in a row and this is the 32nd day that China has experienced the rains. Such a big wind, China's meteorological agency has issued a warning of thunderstorms, flooding in the past 31 days, and unusually heavy rains raising concerns about natural disasters, mud floods and landslides. If we look at the pictures and videos that have been passed around from the back of the Chinese people, we can see that the floods caused by unusually heavy rains over the past several weeks in southern China have caused at least 106 people were killed or missing. About 15 million people have been affected by this year's disaster. Some regions recorded their worst floods in decades. The image of a village in Guangxi province submerged in water was posted by Xinyue in mid-June. According to People News, the battle until the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic over the past time has made the preparation to deal with floods and storms not fully invested. China's Ministry of State Water Resources warned of three major risks that localities are facing including large-scale floods, repeated accidents at water reservoirs and flash floods in mountainous areas. According to ABC News, hydraulic engineers in Shenzhen province largely believe that the small reservoirs built by the Chinese side, built in the 1960s and 70s, cannot meet the high standards now. That is why when extreme weather occurs, these reservoirs will no longer meet their water levels and it will be obvious that it will burst. China State Meteorological Administration warned that the southwestern part of China is likely to receive the heaviest floods starting on March 12, lasting about four months. The amount of water flowing into the central and downstream areas of the Trongjiang River continues to increase. In recent days, since the beginning of March, there have been five heavy rains and strong winds. As of today, China has received up to 12 typhoons. The China Meteorological Department warned that storms and floods in the past 31 days have severely affected people's lives as well as millions and millions of families have to be displaced, and losses from floods. This amounted to 25 billion yuan, or about 4 billion US dollars, an extremely heavy number. People are receiving relief waves at temporary disaster sites in many provinces such as Sichuan announced by the Chinese government. The Chinese site's command of rain and storm control has made the decision to activate emergency response number 4, which is on very high alert, Xinhua News Agency reported. All regions of China are inundated with floodwaters, and it is likely that after this flood, China will receive natural disasters and epidemics. Remember in 2021, China received up to 41 storms and experienced more than three months of heavy rain and high winds, causing electricity, schools, and stations to be blocked and everywhere. And certainly in the next few days, experts in hydrology, irrigation, and meteorology in China as well as in the world have said that Beijing will continue to receive typhoons 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and this is a bad thing that is happening to Beijing, and if China is not careful, it will be wiped off the map of the world. Recently, Vietnam asked China not to exercise in Vietnam's exclusive economic zone. Before the news of the 10-day exercise in the East Sea, Vietnam asked China to respect and not violate Vietnam's exclusive economic zone and continental shelf, and not take actions to complicate the situation. Responding to a reporter's question about a maritime announcement from the Hainan Provincial Customs Administration regarding China's military maneuvers in the East Sea area, Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Le Thi Du Hang Vietnam always closely follows developments in the East Sea area and exercises its sovereignty, sovereign rights and jurisdiction in the sea in accordance with international law, especially the 1982 United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, he said. Unclose 1982. Part of the above-mentioned maritime notification area belongs to Vietnam's exclusive economic zone and continental shelf to find under enclosed 1982. Vietnam asked China to respect and not violate Vietnam's exclusive economic zone and continental shelf and not take actions to complicate the situation, thereby contributing to maintaining peace, 
Security and Stability in Vietnam, East Syria. The Vietnamese side has communicated with China on this issue. A notice posted on China's Maritime Administration MSA, said that the exercise took place in the South China Sea from March 4 to 15. The announcement did not specify the size of the exercise, only saying that ships were prohibited from entering the relevant area. Part of the above area is within Vietnam's 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone, and Vietnam has previously denounced China's infringements of sovereignty. We continuously update and send you when have the most up-to-date and accurate information. Yes, today's newsletter comes to an end. Thank you and everyone. You have followed our newsletter. Wish you and your family always healthy and happy. If you find it interesting, please subscribe to the channel then press the bell icon in the right corner of the screen to not miss the latest news that we will update. But for now, bye and see you again. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any contribution to the program, please leave a comment below or write us a letter. On behalf of the team, I, Phun Tao, would like to thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you again.